Hello everyone, my name is Tino van der Kraan, a game developer at Sassabot Studio, and today I will show you a method of creating skyboxes for Unity 3D using Photoshop and Pano 2 VR. Let's start by creating a new file with a ratio of 1 to 2. Uh, so this can be 2048 by 4096, uh, this can also be 4K by 8K. Um, I prefer to work at higher resolutions because I can always downscale afterwards. With our new file open, we want to draw a guideline dead straight through the center. This guideline will mark the horizon. I prefer to create guides and grids using a tool called NKS5, which you can find in the comments below. Now we create two layers, one marking the ground and one marking the sky. Use a gradient or solid color for the ground and uh, use a gradient for the sky. Customize this look to your own preference. Next up we create a sun and a blurred out circle in a layer on top of it. Now it's time to bring in some clouds. The clouds you see here are photographed by myself, uh, however you can also go onto Google Images to find some clouds that you like. Make sure to look for high resolution images when looking for clouds, it will show in the end result. The method I use for cutting out clouds is first to use the magic wand to make a selection of the cloud that you want to have, then use refine mask, with that selection made you want to refine the edge. And finally use a blend layer mode to blend it in with the background. Do this a couple of more times for different kinds of clouds or just use the same cloud and copy paste and transform it all over the place. To keep your file structured, you can place your clouds into a cloud folder. Additionally, you can also apply a mask to make the cloud seem to disappear into the distance. When you get to the edge of the image, uh, make use of the offset tool in Photoshop to create a seamless transition. This is just a quick and dirty example of how to create a sky. Uh, I'm sure you can do way better if you spend a lot more time on this. But let's take this into Pano 2 VR and create a skybox out of it to use in Unity. I noticed that this installation of Pano 2 VR is in Dutch, although I am sure that it's also available in English. Just follow the appropriate steps and you will get the same result. I will show you two methods of using Pano 2 VR to create a skybox for Unity. The first is quicker but has its downsides. Uh, the second one looks better but takes a bit longer. The first thing you do is select an input and this can just be your Photoshop file you've been working in. Then we export it using custom settings. Set the type to cube size detached. Then you set the image size to be a fourth of your maximum width in your Photoshop file. In my case that is 2048. And of course you need to determine where to export these files to. To differentiate the images you can automatically assign a suffix. 
With everything set, we can start exporting, but not before we make a save of Panda 2 VR. With all the images exported, we take them into Unity and create a material. This material will form the skybox that we're going to use. Insert the images into the appropriate material slots, but make sure to switch around the left and the right image in the slots. I'm not quite sure why, but Unity messes those up for some reason. After applying your skybox, you may notice some seams. Uh, this is because the tiling method is set to repeat instead of clamp. So change this in the texture importer settings. And voila, you have a skybox in Unity. The downside I mentioned before with this approach is that the top of the skybox will start to look distorted. An alternative to this is using the cylindric import setting in Pano 2 VR. So let's take a look at that. You will notice that the images come out nearly identical apart from a big hole in the top and bottom of the skybox. But this can be easily fixed using Photoshop. With that hole patched up, we can import it back into Unity and see the result. And there you have it, a skybox using Photoshop and Panda 2 VR for Unity. I hope you have found this tutorial useful. Please subscribe to this channel on YouTube, uh, like Sessible Studio on Facebook and follow us on Twitter to stay up to date on developments uh, from our studio, but also to be updated on new tutorials when they arrive. We are also working on a first person narrative game which may already be out by the time you're watching this, uh, but also check that out, fragmentsofhim.com. And check out some of the other tutorials by clicking on these links. Thank you very much for watching and have a nice day.